Hey, what's up? I'm Baby Tate, and let's find out what do you had to ask about me. All right, let's see. Which will be the lucky question number one. What is Baby Tate's real name? Well, I'm glad you asked. My real name is Tatherine. I'm just kidding. Um, my real name is Tate. It's Tate. But a lot of times I lie to people and tell them that it's Tatherine because um, when I say my real name is Tate, people don't believe me. They're like, no, it's not. That's short for something. And it's like, short for what? So I just came up with Tatherine one day. I was like, yeah, actually my name was supposed to be Catherine with a C, but the nurse heard my mom wrong. And so when she said C, she thought that she said T. And um, my name is Tatherine. So instead of like Kate for Catherine, it's Tate for Catherine. But that's all a lie, my name is Tate. <laughs> Does she have a man? <laughs> That is none of your business. Um, but the answer is no. I'm single as a Pringle, which makes no sense because Pringles are in a box of a whole bunch of other Pringles. They're not single. Like, when have you ever seen a single Pringle being sold to somebody? Never. So anyways, I'm single. What was my first heartbreak? That's why this one didn't want to come open. <laughs> uh, my first heartbreak, I don't know. I was probably in high school or something. Who cares? Who cares about heartbreak? Move on, I'm just kidding. Heartbreak happens to all of us. <laughs> what scares baby Tate? Um, I'm scared of spiders. Um, I think that's the only thing that scares me, and failure. Um, you know, I think we all fear failing, which is why a lot of times people don't try, because they're scared to fail. But when I say I'm scared to fail, it's like, I'm gonna try anyways. I just don't want to fail. Um, so yeah, failure is not an option and spies us, especially in large quantities. <laughs> what is Baby Tate's pet peeve? One of my biggest pet peeves is um, seeing people's tags stick out the back of their shirt. Um, I can be in a grocery store behind somebody in line. I don't know them from a can of paint, but I'm just like shaking in my bones. Like, please let me tag, tuck your tag in because it's driving me crazy. Like, I don't know if I would do that at the grocery store because that's a bit like um, stranger danger back up. But you know, I feel like when we at the club, everybody's here to have a good time. I'm just like, oh girl, you look so cute. Let me tuck your tag in. And she's like, thank you girls. When is Baby Tate's birthday? Aw, are you gonna give me a gift? Um, my birthday is May 13th, so I'm a Taurus. It's coming up. I will be old. <laughs> I completely identify with Taurus traits. Um, I think, you know, learning more about my entire birth chart, I learned so much about myself and really just um, affirm things that I already knew about myself. I'm like, oh, that's why I do that. Okay. Makes sense. So yes, Taurus gang. What is my favorite song by me and by someone else? Um, my favorite song by me right now that is out is um, What's Love. Right now my favorite song by someone else is Candy Drip by Lucky Day. What would Baby Tate say to her younger self? When I was younger, I was obsessed with like um, gaining weight. And I used to be like, oh my God, I can't gain weight to save my life. And now that I'm 25, you know, um, that grown woman weight just came. So I would say to my younger self, like, don't worry about all that. Just live your life, be happy, be you, be beautiful. Um, don't go looking at other people's bodies like, oh, I wish I looked like that, I wish I looked like this. You'll grow into your body and you will grow into your big ass head too. It's okay. What did Baby Tate do before music? Um, I didn't really do much before music, honestly. I had three separate jobs. I was a waiter at a comedy club. Um, I quit from that job because I had like shows to do and I just was like, Mm, this isn't really working for me. Then I worked at um, Nuke's Eatery, which is like a place that sells soups and salads and sandwiches. Um, 
quit from there as well. It was always music or nothing. What is Baby Tate's biggest inspiration? I would say my biggest inspiration is women um, and empowering women, making women know that um, you are powerful, you are strong, you is kind, you is smart, you is beautiful. And um, yeah, so I think that's, that's my biggest inspiration. That's why I do what I do. When they ask me what I do and who I do it for and how I come up in, with this shit up in the studio, does Baby Tate play an instrument? Um, I actually know how to make my way around the piano. I used to actually play piano and take piano lessons and I was really good at piano. But this one day I was in seventh grade and I told my mom, this is so lame. I don't wanna play piano anymore, ew, ugh. And she was like, you're gonna regret it. I don't think you should stop. And I was like, ew, no I'm not. Ugh, gross, piano's for losers. And now that I'm a 26, oh my God, I'm not 26. <laughs> now that I'm a 25 year old, <laughs> I definitely do regret it. Um, so yeah, I don't play piano as much as I used to, but I do know how to make my way around it. Um, and I also know how to play the guitar. Obviously I don't do that as much because of these long nails, but yes is the short answer. You know what? I actually wish that I could play the drums. I tried to learn how to play the drums one time, but it's way harder than it looks. When do we get new baby tape music? Ooh, <laughs> asking the good questions, huh? We get new baby tape music this year. That's all I can tell you. Dates move, dates change, but the music is coming this year. Is baby tape vegetarian? No, I'm not vegetarian. I am pescatarian. I love me a good crab leg. Woo! <laughs> Love me a good lobster tail, okay? Like, I just don't think they know crabs and lobsters down there in the, in the ocean, and they just don't know how good they legs and they tails taste. And I just will never be able to give that up. I'm so sorry. I love me a vegetable, though. I love me a vegetable. Yes, ma'am. What's the craziest lie I've seen about myself? <laughs> Oh, I've seen a lot of lies about me. It's been a lot of lies, but we don't have to get to all of the lies because when you address the lies, all that does is give weight to the lies. And we don't wanna give weight to the lies. We give weight to the truth because the truth is what will set you free. Amen, hallelujah. Why did Baby Tate choose music? Um, I didn't choose this music life. This music life chose me. Um, no, honestly, Music kind of did choose me though. Um, my mom is a musician, um, so people think, oh, I never told you your mom's a musician. <laughs> but it's just something that I naturally inherited um, is making music because one thing about it, just because your parents make music, that doesn't mean that you'll be good at it. There are a lot of children of musicians that can't sing to save their life. Um, so for me, you know, I grew up around music, loving music, and um, my mom saw that in me very early and decided to make sure that she fostered those talents by putting me in you know, performing arts schools. So parents out there, if you see something in your kids, don't just write it off as a hobby. They very much so could make this their entire life and change their life and yours as well. A lot of people say to their kids, oh, music, you're not gonna make it. It's, it's so hard to do, blah, 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 blah. You need to get a real job. You need to get a plan B. But yeah, I chose music because I loved it and um, I can't live without it, so yes. How does she pick out outfits? She's a fashion icon, literally. Oh my God, thank you, literally, love. Um, I like to start from the shoe. Um, I don't know if you guys can see my shoes. Can y'all see my shoes? Okay, yeah, you can see my shoes. I like to start from the shoe and go up um, because one thing about me, I just love a good shoe. Um, and I think that shoes really tie your whole outfit together. So I have a lot of shoes. I counted the other day. I think I have like 95 pairs of shoes and counting um, because I'm always buying more. Who doesn't need more shoes? What inspired Slut Him Out? <laughs> um, you know, if you listen to the song, <laughs> you would know. But, um, yeah, just a little little freaky dickiness. Just a little nasty nasty. Um, I actually started creating the song. 
um, on IG Live. I opened, um, a lot of times in the past, I can't do this anymore because now people like to leak my songs if I play them on live. But um, this one time I was on live and I was going through like some of the songs I was working on and beats that people sent me. And I opened this beat from Hit Kid and I had already put down like um, some of the hook of this song because when I heard the beat, it was just something about that beat something about that beat that just made me want to get nasty so yeah i was just like rap the whole thing um kind of like in a freestyle way on ig live if you were there you were there for something special and you know you know how i gets down okay you know ain't nobody in the studio writing my motherfucking shit per big per i was at the crib right on the mic period but yeah um slut him out was just inspired by sex so thank you so much. The bowl is empty and so is my mind because I think I've answered all of you guys' questions, but if I didn't, maybe I'll answer them next time. But thanks so much for tuning in. See you later.